Hi, my name's Daniel Lee. I've recently been experimenting a lot with how to get the best mic sound out of an archtop jazz guitar, particularly in a live setting and particularly when playing with a big band. Uh, in a small setting and solo, of course, it's a completely different story. Uh, the Rode NT1 is a great microphone. I tried that, but it's really only any good in the studio. Too much spill. The uh, Shaw SM57, again, fantastic microphone. World-renowned live instrument mic, in fact. But uh, in a big band setting, way too much spill to still too much uh, horns and ride cymbal coming through. So I tried with microphones that are going to get right in close to the, the instrument. In fact, microphones inside the instrument and that sort of thing. Inside the instrument, I really didn't wasn't happy with the sound at all. It was uh, way too woody. Uh, it's not really the sound that the instrument produces, the sound that's inside the box. It's still reverberating around inside there. Uh, I tried this microphone. It's a... JTS. Um, it's just a clipper microphone made for flutes and saxophones and things. It sort of worked, but wasn't fantastic. And then thinking outside the box, I came across this. It's a AKG lapel mic made for uh, speaking, really. Uh, it's just wedged in place here between the soundboard and the bridge, held in place by the foam windsock that comes with the microphone. This particular guitar is a wood tone Fifth Avenue. It's got a big, thick, chunky top, very much like they used to build the guitars in the 50s. It's not like a modern arch top at all. Uh, the advantage of this microphone, of course, is it's um, wireless, if you want that to be an advantage. It's a disadvantage if you don't have a battery with you. Uh, so here's what the guitar sounds like without the microphone, just uh, acoustically. <laughs> Compact 60, very common, typical uh, acoustic microphone um, amplifier. So uh, here's what it sounds like mic'd up. So uh, I think you'll agree it's actually a fairly accurate reproduction of the acoustic sound, but just a little bit louder. I can, of course, EQ it to get more or less bass, middle, treble, whatever you want to do. And uh, one other thing that I've discovered during this journey is uh, it's really, really important, the speaker placement, um, not only for um, tonal set quality and that sort of thing, but feedback as well. On um, these archtop guitars, the back of the guitar is really, really important. You, you'll get more feedback by having the speaker hit the back of the guitar than hit the front. The front, I guess, is reinforced with the bracing and held in place by the strings and all that, but the back just vibrates so freely, which, is, again, I guess is why uh, Freddie Green used to hold the guitar in such a way, to get the maximum volume out of the guitar. So there you go. I hope you found that interestingly informative. Thanks for watching.